So it has been about 24 hours since I put this finish on. Um, this is a new product to me. I don't know how new it is on the market, uh, but I like the look of the, of the sample on the can, so I thought it might be good to try here. And I do like the color that has, has resulted in, uh, on this oak, but it's still wet. You can see it on my fingers that it's not totally dry. It's almost been 24 hours. And according to the can instructions, you know, apply with a bristle brush or foam brush, a loud charred wood accelerator to sit on wood for 30 minutes to one hour for final effect, wiping away is not required, which I thought I had done correctly, um, but I'm getting this residual stain on my fingers. So I have to go back and sand these anyways because the finish did raise the grain of the oak. So I have to touch this again anyway. So what I'm gonna do is take some steel wool to these panels and see if I can't get some of that finish off, but also get the uh, grain to go back down and smooth it out. Uh, I don't want to use sandpaper. I'm afraid that sandpaper is just going to get gummed up with the residual finish. So I'm going to try steel wool first and then see what kind of uh, finish I have left on the boards and decide if I want to use another application of this, maybe a little lighter and wipe it off and do some lighter coats with it, or if I'm okay with leaving it the way it is after steel wool. Uh, we will see. Okay, I uh, steel wooled all this and it did get a little lighter, not terribly, but it's a little bit more faded, so it's not a bad color, I don't mind it. Um, and I did a test piece earlier with the same finish. You can see that this is still coming off even after steel wool. So my original plan was to use Brie Wax, the uh, ebony color, as a finish over top of all of this, but I'm afraid that this finish is not gonna let this stick to it. So I'm gonna try my test piece here and see how it's gonna react. And this will help darken this color back up too. You can, I don't know if you can see the difference on camera really easily, but it is darkening it back up. But I'm just afraid that once it's had some time to dry and we buff it off, that the stain's not gonna let this stick. So we're gonna see how we do. You know, I have seen other folks use ink as a stain, especially black ink as a stain option for pieces like this, which I thought about doing, but I wanna try that new product, or new to me at least, and mm, live and learn. Brie Wax is on. I'm gonna let that sit for a little while. I'm gonna dry for a little bit and come back and buff it off and see what we end up with. I think we're gonna be okay. It's like the wax has contained that finish pretty well. So I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, wax the rest of these and uh, start to finish this up. Oh, and one thing I've got to know mentioned earlier is that uh, on the big panel, I am going to sand off this portion here of the finish and down because I'm gonna attach the other piece to it there. So I wanna get some bare wood back there. Mm -hmm. 